What's up everyone? Today I'm talking about a nodal rail, which is this little thing right here. And uh, the reason why I'm talking about this is because it occurred to me recently that the way I'm using this is totally different from the way that this is really intended to be used. And I got to thinking about it and found that there's actually a variety of ways that I can use this tool uh, for both photos and video that I, I think are kind of outside of the um, the original intent, which uh, if I'm understanding correctly, the original intent of a nodal rail is actually to find the nodal point of your lens. Uh, primarily, I guess, panoramic shots is really what it's, what it's meant for because if you're gonna pan and take a bunch of photos, you want the center of your panning axis to be at the nodal point of the lens. That's the way I understand it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I've never used it that way. Uh, so with that said, let's jump into the ways that I use this. This is like this is just asking for trouble, um, especially when it's at full full length zoom. Like it's it's very front heavy. Um, I yeah, this is a bad idea to try and set this up like this. To shift the camera back to find the center of gravity for this lens, so you can see if I do this. I'm much more balanced um, by just shifting that that uh, whatever you call it shifting back a little ways on, on that rail so now this is uh, with only adding a little bit of weight uh, and just one small item I'm able to easily balance a long lens on a small tripod um, and it's it's much more sturdy this way uh, and if I need to you know zoom or pull back and, and go to a wide shot. I could always just slide this forward. It's pretty easy to do that uh, and keep everything nicely balanced. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the first thing. Is so th these are Arca or Arca Swiss compatible. Um, so you've got an Arca rail on the bottom. You've got an Arca rail on the top. So you've got bot bottom and top. And then you have one that's 90 degrees to those two rails on one side. Uh, and that's, that's what you would use for mounting your camera. You can also mount other ARCA adapters on there too to, you know, to your, you know, what limit. Um, but for, for my purposes, I pretty much just like to use this one, this one little adapter. A note about ARCA. So for a while I was, I was searching for a lightweight tripod that would work for both photos and video. And what I found was nearly all of the tripods that were nice and lightweight had some type of, a, of an ARCA compliant or ARCA standard um, tripod uh, or, or mounting plate uh, for, your, for your cameras. And all of the video tripods had a Manfrotto or some other system like Benro has, has um, some other plates that are that are a different type of plate. And, uh, and the thing that I don't like about those plates is they're really intended to be mounted in line with the lens so that you can, so you can kind of do what this does and slide your, your camera back and forth in order to balance, balance the camera. Um, but when you try and mount one of those on the bottom of a mirrorless camera, then you have this big long plate sticking out and it's screwed onto the bottom of the camera, which I don't like. Um, in addition to that, I also like having, uh, I picked up this little, this little grip, uh, which actually has an ARCA compliant rail. I don't know if you can see that very well, just built right into the bottom of the grip. It's, it's right there. So, so I don't even have to screw anything onto this camera. And so I can attach this directly to my tripod or I can attach it with this nodal rail in order to balance things. Uh, so it kind of depends on my shot. For photos, sometimes I'll just I'll just hang on to the tripod. But if I'm going to be shooting a mix of photos and video, then I definitely want to have this with me because my best uh, my best chance at getting smooth pan and and tilt shots is uh, is going to be if my camera is nicely balanced on on a fluid head. So that's uh, that's really the main reason why I bought this originally. It's super useful. These cost like 20 bucks, which uh, to me is totally worth it for what you get out of it. Now, normally, if I was, 
Normally, if I wanted to get a really low camera shot with this, I would have to use my camera upside down. You would have to use your camera upside down, which means all the buttons are on the bottom, your screen, you know, it kinda, kinda rotates that way, but not really, it, it just, it'd just be a pain. Like if you try to, if I tried to do that on here, you can mount it on there, but, but it's, you use your camera upside down. When would you ever use your camera upside down? So, uh, we're not gonna do that. So before we mounted this facing this way, but now we're gonna mount it facing this way. It's really close up. Um, I mean, I, I don't have a ton of space, but here, let's let's fire this this up. Um, let's see. Oh, you know, I probably I probably forgot. I have to switch the um, the auto sense for the the eyepiece off because uh, I think it's probably detecting. In fact, I could probably double check. Yeah, see. Yeah, see the 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 eye eyepiece sensor is too close to that. So I I would I would need I would need to turn that off uh, if I was going to use this that way. This this is actually the first time I really tried this, but but I thought of it earlier today. I was like, oh, that's cool. I, I wonder if that would work. Uh, so at any rate, so you can use a nodal rail like this get those cool low macro shots or just just even if they're not macro I mean even if it's just your you just want to you know get a really low shot you can totally do that with one of these and if you have a remote monitor which uh, I've been debating getting uh, that would also help for this type of scenario since you got the tripod uh, head sort of in the way of the screen uh, you can also use uh, some some cameras like like the a7 II have have something like a, a live view that uh, you can just connect your phone and use live view that way so that's another option but, but isn't that isn't that cool I don't know I just think that's that's really really cool that you can use this that way totally not the way it was intended but it works so this s2 plate um, I didn't like how it fit on the bottom of my of my Sony camera, and so I really wanted to try and adapt to an Arca plate uh, because I like I like the Peak Designs Arca plates, and I really like this this Arca grip that I have. So what I ended up doing looks kind of weird, uh, but I've got a couple of adapters here. So, so let me show you what's going on here. All right, and excuse the mess in the background. Uh, we have a one year old. And um, he he gets his toys out every time he he gets out. Uh, he's currently napping right now, which is why I'm able to make this video without uh, without a lot of interruptions. Um, so okay, so here's what we have. So there is first you have the Arca compatible grip on the bottom of the camera. Then you have the nodal rail. Uh, if you didn't have this nodal rail. Um, you would have to, uh, you'd have to do some things differently. But then I have, um, on here, I have an adapter, which is, is essentially, it's just a, a quarter 20 screw mount, uh, to, to Arca compatible. Uh, they, they call this like a skeleton clamp. I think, Be I think it's because it's all milled out in the middle. Um, anyway, skeleton clamp sounds cool, I guess. Uh, and then on the bottom of that is what Ben Rowe calls a QR4, which is what the S2 fluid head uses. And, uh, and apparently that's like the only tripod head in existence that uses this QR4 plate. It was like custom made for that. Um, so, uh, and I was kind of able to wedge the Peak Designs mounts into the same thing. It's almost the same size but it's annoyingly not quite right and i think i was actually damaging the peak designs mounts by trying to slide them in there and then i had like another like a three-legged thing uh arca compatible mount that wouldn't fit it was very inconsistent how how those mounts would fit so that that's kind of what motivated me to try and figure figure this out because i don't have a lot of money to spend on gear because i've already spent too much money on gear and uh, and I think I, 
I'll have to double check, but I think this little skeleton clamp adapter was like 10 bucks or something like that. Um, so, so you got 20 bucks for the nodal rail, you got 10 bucks, let's say for now, uh, for this little skeleton clamp. Um, I actually just take this and leave it on the, uh, oops, flip that around, leave it on the um, Benro tripod head, which I don't know if you can see that. Um, so that goes on there. Got the little skeleton clamp. You can actually see like there's a little bit of play in the um, in the QR4 uh, mount where uh, where you can lock that down. Now that doesn't move. Um, but so yeah, so now I can put my my camera on here and I can slide it back and forth, get it exactly exactly where I want it. And now now that's on a nice fluid head and I don't have to keep a Manfrotto or a stupid QR4 uh, plate on the bottom of my camera I'm able to just use this Arca compatible grip extension and no other plates which which to me ends up being a nice clean setup maybe it's handy to have that grip uh, just stay on there maybe not I don't know but I just figured I'd show you that uh, if you do do that, then you are going to limit the range quite a bit in terms of how much you can balance balance the head on there. Uh, not balance the head, balance the camera on the head. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Uh, but at any rate, just another thing to throw out there that I, that I kind of figured out along the way. So if you like this video, uh, please, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like it, uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or ideas of, for future videos, uh, please fire away below. And if you want to see future content like this, uh, go ahead and subscribe and you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. Thanks again, everybody, and have a great day. So uh, just just by throwing this, this rail on here, I can slide the camera back. Now it's, it's much more stable on there for those nice, smooth smooth shots so just one more reason why just one more reason why that can be really handy depending on what you're doing all right thanks again see you guys next time